Hi guys, welcome back to our playlist. Today is the final part of our project series. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more useful videos about student life. And today's topic is very important. So in this video, I'll show you how to upload your project from your PC to your GitHub. We are going to learn how to upload your project to your GitHub in a brand new repository. This is the final step that makes your project visible to the world and trust me, it will look amazing on your resume as well. So step number one, install Git. So first things first, you need to have Git installed on your system. So if you are on a Windows, go to this website and download Git. For Mac or Linux, Git usually comes pre-installed, but you can also install it using your package manager. So once installed, you can check it by opening your terminal or VS Code terminal and by typing this git space dash dash version. If you see a version number, you are good to go. The next step is create a repository on GitHub. Go to github.com and log into your account. Click on the new repository button here. Now give your repository a name. For example, my project is sign language detection and add a small description. And the important thing is keep it public so others can see. Or if you want your project to be private, then set it as private. Now here you can see there is an option called readme file. So tick this option. I'll tell you why this readme file is very important. So stay tuned in this video. Now let's focus on creating our repository. Now here we just need to click on create repository. Your empty repository is ready. Step 3. Connect your local computer project to the GitHub. Open your project folder on your computer in VS Code. Open the terminal and run these commands step by step. The first command is git init. This step initializes the git inside your project. And now git promote and add origin. Now here you need to paste the link which you have got in the repository. This connects your local project, the GitHub repository which you just created. Step number 4. Let's add your project files to the git and upload them. So use this command as git add. This adds all the files in your project and also type this command git commit. This saves your files with a commit message. So now the last and final step push to GitHub. You need to push everything to GitHub using these commands git branch and git push. After these commands, you just need to type in these commands in your terminal. After this, just refresh your GitHub repository page. And now your project is uploaded online. So earlier I have mentioned about the readme file, right? So always create a readme file in your project. Here you can write what is your project is about and how to run it. What technologies are used in this project? This makes it very easier for others to understand like interviewers or collaborators to understand your project very quickly. So this is why we need to add the readme file to our project. The other thing you need to keep in mind is future updates. If you make any changes in your project later, just repeat these commands git add, git commit and git push. So don't forget to note this all commands which I will be mentioning in the description. After this, the changes will be automatically reflect on your GitHub repository. So there is no need to confuse. That's it guys. Now you know how to upload your project to the GitHub. This completes our project series. Here is a question for you. How many of you have scrolled through LinkedIn or job boards and thought, wow, that job title sounds really amazing, but I have no idea how to even qualify for it. When you see data scientist or machine learning engineer and you think that's exactly what I want to do, but then you look at the requirements, Python, SQL, Power BI, machine learning, and it feels like never ending list of things and you don't know it. Or maybe you have already tried learning on your own with random tutorials and YouTube videos. And now you have got a hundred pieces of puzzles, but you have no clue how to fix them. So trust me, I have been there too. It's frustrating. That's exactly why I was genuinely impressed when Intanshala reached me out about their data science placement course. I have seen a lot of programs floating around, but this one really stood out. First, it's a complete package. You don't just learn one or two things. Over the six months, you go from basics like Excel and SQL to Python, Power BI, Machine Learning, and even the latest AI tools like ChatGPT and Gemini. Basically, everything company actually want in the data scientist today. Second, it's certified not just by Intanshala, but also by National Skill Development Corporation and Skill India. This adds a real credibility to your resume. Third, it's hands-on. So you'll work on real six projects, the kind of stuff that actually makes your resume stand out. And the biggest plus is placement support. See, they don't just train you and say good luck, but here you'll get a live bootcamp with mock interviews, 
resume help, career guidance, and access to exclusive job opening. And there is even a hundred percent fee refund if you don't even get placed. That's how confident they are. And you'll also get a confirmed stipend of forty thousand during the program. So if you are really feeling struck, this course gives you a clear step by step path into the data science. I have dropped a link in the description below. You can check out the full placement support and see the details and apply. If you are really serious about building the career in data science, this is a pretty solid way to get started with a team that actually has your back. That's all for today. So comment down below if you successfully uploaded your project and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more student-focused content. See you in the next one.